Aloha. I'm Andy. In this video I will update the BIOS from 2.14 version, to, 2.15 version for the HP Compaq 8200 Elite PC. In my previous video, with number 398, I already downloaded all BIOS update files from the official HP support page. You will find the link in the description with the BIOS update files in case HP ends the support for this PC. If you run a Windows operating system, you can verify your BIOS version if you type MSINFO32 in the search box and press the Enter key. My BIOS version is 2.14. The 2.15 BIOS version fixes these issues. Fixes an issue introduced in the v2.14 BIOS where the system would beep and continue to boot if there was a BIOS error during boot up. The fix restores the expected pause with an F1 boot prompt so that the error message can be seen. Warning. During the update procedure, make sure your system is connected to AC power. Do not disconnect the PC from the AC power. Do not shut down or reboot the PC. Do not connect or disconnect any USB device. Do it on your own risk. I will not be held responsible for any damages. After you were warned, let's begin the BIOS update. I launched the SP55306 executable and then I save automatically the BIOS updates file in the C colon backslash setup backslash SP55306 folder. I close the BIOS flash.htm file with instructions on how to update the BIOS. I close this warning window and I open the SP55306 folder and from the HPQ flash folder I launch the HPQ flash.x and I follow the instructions. My actual BIOS version is 2.14 and the update BIOS version is 2.15. I confirm the update procedure by clicking on the next button. The update procedure will take a while, first the actual BIOS version is saved. Please wait while your system BIOS is being updated. This may take several minutes to complete. Do not shut down or remove AC power during this process. Interruption of the update procedure can damage the system. Please be patient and make sure all the steps are completed successfully. And now is starting the actual BIOS update procedure. The system must be restarted to complete the flashing process. Do not close the display or place the system into sleep or hibernation mode until after the restart completes. The system will automatically restart when the counter reaches zero. And this is when the capture card has no video signal. The BIOS update procedure is finished. The Windows operating system is loading. Now I check the BIOS version. And here is the new BIOS version 2.15. In my next video I will show the 2.15 BIOS settings in pictures. If this video was useful to you and do you want to reward me with a cup of coffee, you can do it by clicking on the link in the description. Select one cup and click on the support button. Thanks for watching, don't forget to, share, comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time, goodbye.